welcome to Rope TV. Today, I'm down here at Industry and Co Cafe in Margate because you may not realize it, but this cafe is owned and operated by the team at Rope. Let's check it out. The concept was that we were going to build a cafe, run it with the, with the participants in mind, so it was become, being done as a training facility. So we wanted it so that participants could come on board, they could come into the cafe, they could get work experience, they could get experience in dealing with people and move on from there. We're giving people opportunities with disabilities to to get some life skills and get some business skills and work life skills out and about in the community in a real life cafe. I love working at Industry & Co. It's been the best four years of my life to be honest. I enjoy seeing how far the guys have come. Now you know Ashley who appears quite bubbly and she is bubbly and she's very confident when she first started here it wasn't the case she was too scared now she just runs the place probably better than what we do <laughs> this is the um the grinder so it grinds um all of the um the coffee beans well Braden used to be quite shy and timid he now is quite confident he knows how to use cash register he doesn't need to any prompting to use the cash register. He greets customers when they first walk in. He hears what's happening out the front and if I'm out the back making food, he'll just come out the back and get out all the cheese and ham and things like that and put it on the bench, ready for me to make a sandwich. He's just all over it. We do have a lot of regular customers that come in here and support us. Um, they think what we do here is a fantastic idea. The participants, they, they just like, they, they, hey, whatever their first name is, and they know that each other's coffee. But the one thing that I did want to make clear to everyone was that this was going to be a fully functioning cafe. It wasn't going to be a process where we would have customers come in and go, oh, you know what, the service isn't real crash hot, the food's not fantastic, but you know what, we forgive it because, yeah, these guys have got a disability. That's not what we wanted to do. We wanted to make sure that we, we gave these guys the training and the experience and the knowledge to be able to go out there and use what they learn here in, in other experiences of employment and things like that. I feel blessed that, you know, myself and Sarah and others that work here have helped her achieve that and, and build her confidence. It makes me feel really good, you know, encouraging the guys, empowering the guys. It makes me feel really good. I go home with a purpose and, you know, helping them. Literally is coffee with a purpose. If people are getting a chance, come on down to Margate, come into Industry & Co. Grab a coffee, grab a toasty and enjoy. On the Redcliffe Peninsula, make sure you pop into the cafe. The coffee is amazing and I promise you'll love it. Now, don't forget to like Industry & Co on Facebook. Their details are on the screen right now. Okay. It's time to put the spotlight on one of Rope's participants. Cameron has been at Rope for seven years and he's currently 
doing working spirits here at the studios of Trading Media Australia, where we film Rope TV. It's been very interesting. Um, definitely learned a lot from here. I am Cameron Brillman. I um, work for Training Media Australia. Working with Cameron has been an amazing experience. He's a very positive person. He is always aware what what we need in the production, in the field, even he doesn't have any experience before. It's been an, an exceptional experience for both of us. Um, we've both learned a lot since we've been here. Well, let me introduce you, uh, you before we start. We have Cameron here, which is doing a professional experience in trending media. Um, sometimes it's good and sometimes a little challenging, but I like being challenged, yeah. Uh, when Cameron came to do the professional experience at Trending Media, he he's always been joined with the, his support worker, with his Deb. Deb has been an amazing help for us because she is very helpful and she has some background in photography from her family, so she is uh, really, really interested in, in the field and learn and I guess she's enjoying through Cameron all the experience to be in a trendy media. Since he's first started since October, the last couple of months especially, I've started to stand back um, a little bit more because I want him to independently do it himself and I'm there if he needs reassurance or if he forgets something or he's not sure how to do something. I'm always there with him, but I'm starting to stand back because I want him to achieve and I want him to get more confident and that independence. Some days are easy, some days are a little difficult and I need maybe a little bit of a nudge. I like when we see each other in the levels of equality. So being in a company as trending media who share these values is very uh, meaningful for me. Make me make me feel and make me think I'm in the right place to work. It's like with anyone, if they put their mind to it, they can do anything they want. Um, and I think he, he's actually told me that he wouldn't mind in the future being in this sort of field. I like um, helping it. Um doing like the cameras and um, seeing how they work and um, being like the um, audio guy. Um, he's learning a lot out there as well, like to stay away from the camera and, and he loves holding the um, big microphone extender and working with the teleprompter, like with the script going up and down. Um, he's starting to get used to that now. So being at Trending Media is giving him a lot a lot of um, new experiences. It feels really good um, to be a part of some um, something and I feel quite proud. did you think of today's episode? Make sure you tell us in the comments and don't forget to like and share this video on Facebook. You can also subscribe to Rope TV on YouTube. That way you'll never miss an episode. See you next time. Let me go.